So the idea is to see how the fairing is fixed on the bike. So we start from the rear side. And here we can see that this is the structure which is built with aluminum tube and it's done for the bags. Here we can put some bags and here there is another level. The tilting mechanism, I don't know whether we can see it, is down there. So the fairing is fixed here and here. So on the rear side is on top and lower there. The fairing is done in three pieces. So there is the cover. the lower part and the higher part which is fixed like this. Now the higher part is fixed on the front boom so this is the mechanism and this is fixed you will notice that the front boom, I have done a modification to have it lower, so to lower the cranks in order to lower or see the front side of the fairing. This I have curved it, this is the original part, and covered with uh, carbon fiber. Then the fairing is fixed on the bottom, over there and over there. On the front is fixed there. So this is as far as the top part is concerned. The bottom part then is fixed here on the front part of the boom and this is the two sides on the front part of the fairing then this is the Raptor bike frame that we cannot see very well but we have used the two holes we have in the standard frame to have two long um, parts where I have screwed here and there the fairing this is the rear side which I have built for the bags but I have reused it for fixing the frame over here and over there. So from outside we can see it. So it's pretty simple overall. So again there are three parts. The top one which is movable. And the way it's movable it's it's easy because just by pulling in this way it's closed and then we can fix like this and like this making sure that the front part is well positioned on the bottom and that's it 
this is from the front this is from the rear and for the bags this is the cover that is fixed by screwing these four simple mechanism so this was just to show how the fairing is fixed to the standard Raptor bike frame so the mechanism which is there the rear part so we can also open to work on the tilting mechanism we can also open this part by unscrewing here which I have not done it so we can see the inner part of the mechanism 